Dutch. What's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. <clears throat> well, uh, leaving love aside, uh, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. You see those two? Stay out of sight. Before we lose Bronte! God, we got more inside! Here, Bronte! 
got him. All right, let's spread out. We got one on the stairs. Benny, keep that door covered. Bronte must be up there. Let's go. God damn. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. him in the front. Bill, you help. You got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. No, no. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So no. filth! has got to be this oh, oh, Our friends, the oh, Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you, you oh, repulsive oh, little maggot! Oh, 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 oh. Call them now! You call them! Jesus! Party 
your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow to a goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Morning, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Miss Grimshaw? Thanks, Pearson. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Now I could turn this into something special. All right. Now I'm burning up here. This will help the stew. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Well done, Mr. Morgan. How are you? Nice. Good job, Arthur. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. Ah, yes, that'll be much appreciated. Grimshaw? A few changes never hurt. Mr. Summers. Morning, Arthur. Time, girl.
please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. Mother of God! <laughs> Just wait a second, girl. Hey, girl. You all right, girl? Yep. Take this 
horse much longer. It's getting hard to breathe in these ropes here. You're after me too. I know it. I know it. Jesus Lord. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. But I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble.
Okay then, girl. Hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but, but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Well, I ain't promising nothing, but... I'll see what I can do. There's a logging camp over in Big Valley, pretty much straight west of here, that might have lumber for sale. Coming by with these for old Joe. He don't even have a tail feather left. Mm -hmm. Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. Yeah. Yep. think this day can get much worse. I've been there. Thanks. Just the way it goes sometimes. See you around. Hey, friend. Hey, Dick. Hey. Thank you. 
here no more than I won that game fair and square. Move out yeah, damn fair way. and square my ass. Your move. want some, huh? Sure, I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. very own avenging angel look on the wall there if you're after another quarry nasty individual that one they say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls Scare nobody. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. Wouldn't drink here, though. Get under Sandy and hand well, you some sazzle. Anyway, just get out of my way. Careful. Yep. there. Welcome. You hear about the massacre over at the trolley station in Saint Denis? I knew a fellow who worked there for a while. Terrible business.
don't even want to know where that money came from. So long. Girl, just give me a second.
easy, easy. Yep. Wind homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Well, um, uh, need our horses? It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. <laughs> hey, how about this then? I guarantee you, Pete. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. Ah, it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Her den. We should leave the horses. Whoa there. <laughs> All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark.
You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. around with me boy You're meant to be going the other way. Boy, there's a corpse down here, an old one, another body. She got him. Crap, damn, 
dead, deader. <laughs>